Good morning, my brother, my father, and I. Three of us are traveling to Tsirang for Diwali celebrations at Sister's Place. Every year during Diwali uh, on Bhaitika, we siblings, brothers and sisters gather and celebrate it together. And it's a special occasion. Oops, it says detour right. So now we are taking the right and then we uh, head upwards towards Simtoka. Uh, see, if we had come this way, we, we would have to go back. Uh, but then we took the right and we came to the right path and we got into the uh, good road now. So my brother's driving. And I'm here, and my father's in the back seat. So today I'm going to show you all the highlights on the route from Thimphu towards Sirang and all the major roads, bends, roads, bends, curves, and everything I'll cover. So we are about to reach Tochila Pass now and it's a very famous place and yeah we are here and here we have 108 stupas built by our eldest queen mother Ashi Tojiwa Muachu and to the left you can see the Himalayan mountain ranges Usually this place is gloomy, but then today it's a clear blue sky and we can see the mountain ranges very properly. I mean very clearly and this 108 stupas were built uh, to honor the martyred armed persons during the 2003 war. So our country had to go through war in the year 2003 and this uh, place is usually known as Truk Wangel Choten so this Choten we have name for stupas to, so this place is called Truk Wangel Choten today is a good day because it's a clear blue sky and we can see the Malin mountain ranges is called Lampiri and the road is very beautiful it may look we are moving very fast but then I have fast forwarded this video to uh, make sure not to miss any uh, beautiful scenes uh, to save time and at the same time not to make you feel bored and then it's a very beautiful place, but then there are some U-turns, sharp U-turns somewhere at the end of this road. So you have to be very careful on this road because as uh, it said, speed thrills but kills, so just like that. And, and my brother is still driving and then what's my father doing? Yeah, he, uh, he's silent and sober today. We can see beautiful forest coverage and it's a very thick forest, very beautiful forest. And we have reached Tinlegang.
and I'm going to show you all the road and all the places in between so it's very beautiful paddy field here and we are going to reach Lobesa I mean we are already in Lobesa I guess this place is called Lobesa and yeah here there's a petrol pump petrol pump uh, or a fuel station whichever, whichever name you call and then towards left we go to Punaka and but then we are heading straight towards Wongdi and we will reach Punatang Chu and then Tsura. So this is Lobesa town and then yeah we can you can stop for Meku or kind of a, oh, this place is famously known for Meku okay we are heading towards Zeram and we will reach Wangdi first so um, on the left side you can see Bajo town of Wangdi and we are about to reach Wangdi Zampa or the bridge Wangdi bridge and then it's a beautiful day look at the scenario so it's very beautiful and I mean we are enjoying the trip we are enjoying the drive and then we are about to reach Wangdi now And we can see the Wangdi zone now. From here we can see the Wangdi zone. And then look at the water. It's, it looks fresh. Very, very, very beautiful. And the Wangdi zone, Wangdi zone being reconstructed after the 2000. Well, fire, and we have reached the bridge. Uh, there's a check post. We stop here, and you can see the zone we have left on the now. And there's the windmill uh, for generation uh, and for electricity generation, power generation. Traveling at the Punatang Chu area and look at the sand, the concrete, I mean the gravels, cement, everything. These are for the construction of the dam, I guess, the power project. For the dam, power project, hydroelectric city, all these things. And we are soon going to reach the tunnel. Let's pass through that. If you are traveling for the first time, make sure you don't fall asleep here because it's a very interesting tunnel. And here, okay, what's my father doing? I cannot see him. And yeah, we are going to pass the tunnel soon.
Okay, now we are done with the tunnel, man. Okay, and on our left side, we can see a bridge and then lots of unknown things. I don't know what it is, but then they are very, very massive, very huge. And then we can, I think that's a school or a colony. Uh, colony and some schools, I guess, for the staffs of this area. And the river here is very, very beautiful. Very clean and green and beautiful. And then it looks very fresh, very fresh. And some more equipment, very huge for the construction of high power projects. For the projects, I guess. And what do we have? We have free powder if you want, so we'll have we'll have to encounter many of this kind of places in Puna Sanctuary area. During summer it's very very muddy and slippery. But then during winter it's very thirsty and make sure you keep your keep your windows closed when you pass through the dust. And we are here at we are here at the commentary check post and we checked our registrations and then we are passing through a bridge come to bridge and then so we have taken a lunch break meals break mm, um, Showing you around. Seems like uh, we have stopped at a very beautiful place. We can see all the beauties around. The scenario, the nature, everything. Uh, check it out here. Um, what are my father and brother doing? I'm gonna go and see the yeah. and um, we'll have lunch and um, then we'll continue our journey. So I'm going towards my father and brother, back to them. And my father has found a lizard out here and he's, he was taking a picture and I'm showing it. And we are continuing our journey and I have fast forwarded this video to make sure I don't cut off any important scenes, uh, beautiful scenes and also to make sure that you don't get bored so i fast forward it with you and we have reached uh, i think this place is called burechu and my brother is doing some shoppings and this place is famous for dalai pickles banana guava and all the fruits and i am showing you around the flowers out here and I think uh, Tsirang has really worked hard this year to for presentation of flowers and this is I think the collection of the vendors out here so okay we are again continuing our journey and then 
the road goes uphill now with lots of sharp turnings Okay, we have reached a junction. The right goes towards Dagana and we'll pay for left towards Zira. Okay, now I'm taking turns with my brother and I'm driving. Oh, I almost crashed. And then this place is called Hawadara. It's a beautiful place. I remember uh, we used to walk all the way from our home to, uh, towards this place to Hawadara and then we would take uh, the shortcut downwards and we could reach Dagana, uh, the, usually the Trujegang area, Zangka areas because we had relatives, uh, we have relatives still but then we don't walk uh, much these days in the olden days people used to travel from here and then they would go for shopping and return on the same day it's a long walk if we recall okay this is a, a cup office head of the village office the of Tolinkar. And the sun has disturbed my eyes so much. We are almost in Zirang town now. We just passed a fuel station or the gas station. And then, yeah, we are almost at Tempu town now. So this year, uh, Dampu town was very much beautified. You can see flowers all around. So let's enjoy the view out here. The weather is uh, good here too. It's sunny, and then we are almost there the town so at the left side you can i think there's a police station on the left side yeah we have police station at the left side and the right side we have workshop a car repair facility and then we are here we are here at Dumpu Town. This is Dumpu Town. Usually people come here on Sundays. Most of the villagers come here on Sundays. I still remember during my childhood days when my sisters used to tell, I'll take you to Dumpu tomorrow on Sunday. And I used to be very happy and listen to them. It's a, uh, it was a way of uh, way how to uh, persuade those days. So it's really beautiful the town. In the olden days, uh, when I was a kid, I remember this town. All these buildings were roofless buildings, but. Um, now all of them have roof there is not even a single roofless shop out here or building out here so you can see how beautiful it is the town with every uh, flowers planted everywhere okay so we're here and then we will stop here for a while and go for a little 
little bit of shopping. Okay, now we are done with the shoppings and then we are moving again. Okay. Okay, we are leaving Dempu town and towards left we have Dempu hospital and towards right we have bank of Bhutan and Zong and then you can see a telephone network tower up here so when I was young I used to think what was it hmm, it is huge uh, whenever I come to my hometown not me but uh, not only me but um, maybe everyone so whenever I come to my hometown, I feel very happy, very rejoiced and I find it more beautiful than ever. And this time is, it's extra beautiful and you can see flowers planted and decorated. This place looks, looks very decorated, very beautiful and extra beautiful. And we have reached a check post out here. This place used to be an old check post. Maybe they don't use it or maybe during season. Okay, this place is called Daje. So Daje. This place is Dajay and then it's a small town. We used to come here for shopping when we were kids. It used to be the nearest shops. And then towards left is the way for Sarbang and Kelefu and but then we head downhill because we are going to Tholinkar Kiawak, uh, our village Tholinkar. Uh, this used to be called uh, Tokata before but then just now we are still at Daje this place is called Daje and this is the Gub's office the head of the village office and then we have passed Daje and we are still heading towards our village and we got our road um, Jacket ago, and then it's uh, still unpaid. Road and it's taking a jacket ago out here, and people have bought cars. Okay, let me fast forward once again. Enjoy. Okay, who is, look who is here, my nephew, he had been calling my father more than 10 times today and uh, we reached here now, home, at home, and father is removing his shoes and my nephew is busy with his phone and let me show you around what's going on. What's going on around here? <laughs> so there's my sister, her husband and my niece. They are making sal roti. They came yesterday itself to prepare for the Diwali. 
Okay, and my eldest sister is shouting to my brother for taking the hassle to bring in the groceries. She's telling it's unnecessary. And then my father is talking to my sister's mother in law. And I'm going to show you flowers around the collection of flowers. Well, my sister has a huge collection of flowers, I guess. Um, you can see here there are lots of flowers out here. I don't, I don't know name of name of even the single one of them, but I love them. I love to see them. I mean. Okay, he loves to give this expression whenever he spots a camera. <laughs> okay, let me show you around. Okay, I'm handing over my camera to my nephew. He's going to show you around. Okay, we got beer and silver tea as snacks at sister's place sitting near the heater and my father had some drinks and he had started chit chatting now and see the kid out here he's hanging by the window not to waste one and my sister is shouting not to film her she says she she's not in condition to be filmed because of works in village. She is very hardworking. Okay, it's dark and salute preparation is still going on. My sister and niece is still preparing the salute. Day also happens to be Kurtiwar, a day where dogs are honored for their loyalty. We get garlands over the neck, which you saw. Okay, and my brother is distributing sweets after dinner for digestion. And it's uh, evening time. My father is talking to my niece, everybody's laughing. Everybody is happy, my sister is also filming.